Hi and hello, this is Pasi from PasiSpeedStuff.net uh, In this video I'm going to show you how to install a RetroPi emulator uh, on a Raspberry Pi Zero SD card For that I need a computer, a browser, SD card, a SD card reader which I have on my Mac and uh, then I need a few downloads. First one is a RetroPi and uh, that I can get from retropie.org.uk uh, on the home page there is get retropie button press that and get to the go to the download page and there rows a little bit downwards on the screen on the page and I'll see that there's two uh, images to download and I need to pick the right one for my hardware like I said I have a Raspberry Pi Zero card which I want to use as the base of my my uh, game console and so I need to pick this Raspberry Pi 0 slash 1 image so I'll click that to download and uh, while that's downloading I also need uh, software to burn the uh, image on, on my SD card and for that I'm using a software called Etcher which I can get from etcher.io and even easier they write on the front page or the home page there is download for macOS button so let's press that and start downloading the uh, burner software there we go and these downloads will take a while so I'll go to downloads and see that and I'll actually show you that I already have downloaded these beforehand so I don't need to wait for the downloads to finish so let's move on to actually burning the S, uh, the uh, RetroPie image on the SD card. Close the uh, uh, let's close the uh, browser. Let's install Etcher from the downloaded DMG. Double click. And uh, usual friendly uh, Mac app installer. Just drag the uh, app over to the Applications folder. And once that's done, you can actually unmount this install, installer DMG. And uh, then I go, go to the Applications, browse to etcher.app, launch the application. And because I just downloaded it and installed it, it's verifying, making sure that I know what I'm doing, that I really want to run the application because I downloaded it from the internet. Now in this case, I do want to do it. So let's move on. And uh, in a GFE, it shows me the uh, user interface for the uh, Etcher burner application, which is very easy. Select the image. Again, I go to Downloads, and I have the uh, RetroPie 4.0 for Raspberry Pi 1 and 0 image. It's actually compressed. A nice thing about Etcher is that can knows how to uh, use compressed images, so I don't have to. I don't need to uncompress it first. Selecting the image has been selected. Now I need to select the drive that I have the SD card. So let me plug in my. Uh, micro SD card to the SD card uh, reader writer uh, and Etcher automatically recognizes that now the SD card has been inst inserted so it picks that one it's about 8 gigabyte SD card and the image seems to be around 2.25 gigabytes and all that remains is to start flashing using the friendly ah oh, of course uh, Etcher needs a permission um, to be able to flash the image to the card so let's give that and now it started flashing and this will take uh, roughly 10 minutes or so so let's just fast forward to the end of the flashing process
and the writing is soon complete and after uh, writing etcher will validate the uh, SD card not quite as slow as writing but still takes a few minutes so let's fast forward to the end of the validation Right, validation done and Etcher unmounts the uh, SD card automatically. So now we're done with flashing. So I'm gonna close Etcher and uh, pull out my SD card and see how it works on my Raspberry Pi Zero.